वीडियो Before moving on to the video, let me remind you to subscribe my channel and just click the bell icon near the subscribe button to stay updated with all my videos. Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the game analysis series. Here I am gonna take you through the game analysis of a fullback to show each and every movement of how a fullback plays. For that, I have chosen one of the best fullback in the entire world. It's Marcelo, and he's one of my personal favorite. To show you all how he plays, I have taken some clips from the match between Real Madrid FC and Valencia FC from La Liga Santander. Here. In this game, Real Madrid plays in a 4-3-3 formation in which one among the four being Marcelo. One of the main duty of a fullback, as you all know, is to provide that width and height to the play which helps the team to expand their play towards the wings. As you all know, expanding the play to the wings is one of the crucial factor in the modern game which helps to decrease the pressure at the center and it also creates the hole in between the defensive line of the opposition as you know when expanded to the wings the opposition team got stretched and the their defensive line got misplaced and hence creates a hole in between their defensive line. So here the game starts. Ball is rolled by Valencia and as you can see Real Madrid gives out a tremendous pressure in the last third and finally wins the ball. So here in the first clip itself you can see Marcelo providing that width. So when Marcelo looks forward towards the wings so that he could see some he spots Benzema which is which is unmarked. So in the next clip you can see Marcelo moving towards the wings to provide that same width and that helps to expand the play. He gets the ball and due to the pressure, he just plays back the ball towards the Sensio. In most of the clips here, you can see Marcelo providing that width because that's one of the main function of the fullback unless they have, um, in, unless they are defending. They move the ball towards the wings. Okay, from this clip, when Modric turns, and you can see whenever when the Cruz gets the ball, Marcelo starts running towards the wings so that he creates such a large space in the wings. In this situation, Asensio could have played to Marcelo so that he can he can create a large space up the wing and cross the ball and give a dangerous ball inside the box but so as soon as Marcelo gets the ball he just reveals the pressure by changing the wings towards catcher wall So from this clip you can clearly see that Marcelo showing the goalkeeper that he is free at the wing so that he decreases the pressure there towards the goalie and he can confidently play to the wing. So in this clip 
when Cruz gets the ball, you can see Marcelo running towards the wing. Wing. So here it is an understanding between the midfielder and the fullback that uh, that they could easily find a person at the wing. So you can find Marcelo creating that large amount of space there at the wing. So you can see Marcelo moving inside from the wing that creates a space for Cruz to receive the ball. So just spot Marcelo when he moves when he tries to move to the wing. Cruz gets a large space in front of him so, so he can dribble the ball in, inside. So when Cruz gets the ball, Marcelo runs towards the wings so that he creates a large amount of space at the wing. By creating that space, he can either cross the ball or he can move inside, So, but he chooses to cross the ball, but it just went out to a goal kick. So again, similar situation. When Cruz gets the ball, Marcelo moves towards the wing and now, this time he's choose to dribble in <coughs> and gives a powerful cross but it just deflected off the defender. Here a similar situation arises. When Cruz gets the ball, Marcelo moves towards the wing but Cruz gives a beautiful pass to catch reward. So you can see Marcelo hanging behind and gives a powerful shot. So this time Modric has the ball. If you can clearly see the understanding between a fullback and one of his midfielders. So you can see that Marcelo checking his shoulders and he finds Asensio at his position. Uh, but when Asensio moves in, Marcelo comes back to his position and be there up wide. And you can see Marcelo showing that he is free here and but he could have done much 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 better cross. So that's it for the video. Hope you guys like the video. In the entire clip, you can see that most of the time he moves towards the wing and creates a large amount of space at the wings so that his team can stretch the play towards the wing. So he himself gives a chance for the, his teams to reduce the pressure up the center so that his uh, their midfielders Cruz and Modric can play the ball co uh, with full confidence so if you like the video just hit the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe the video see you on the next video